What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> where do you begin, right? Where does one begin with this with this poster that they put out there, the acolyte poster? Okay, coming soon to Disney Plus in June. They got the trailer dropping tomorrow, and this is what Star Wars put out as an advertisement for that trailer. Okay, <laughs> and you was wondering, like, wait a minute, what are we advertising here? <laughs> <laughs> Man, look, this thing is peak Disney Star Wars, okay? You want to ever see, hey, this is how bad it got for Disney Star Wars. Look back, okay? In the annals of history, when we go forward, you know, two or three decades, we are going to look back and say, uh, yeah, they, this is it right here. This was the peak of Disney Star Wars. This trash. This garbage poster with this blood. <laughs> But look, you can't be mad, man. You can't be mad because Kathleen Kennedy said the force is female. She said it, okay? The force is female. Damn it, we gonna put femininity all on the poster as well. <laughs> we putting it out there for the whole world to see, okay? That's what we putting out there. See? Did I stutter when I say the force is female? I said it. Expressed it. Love it. Live it. You know, it's this is... Whoo, man, this thing is getting absolutely destroyed. I mean, people are having so much fun with this, right? Yeah, the trailer's dropping tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, all right? Uh, Nerd Roddick comes in. Uh, shout out to Nerd Roddick. Hit 1 million subs uh, today. And, yeah, you know, congratulations to that guy, man. He kind of set the stage for a lot of us. Um, he says, from former Harvey Weinstein, personal assistant Ledley, Leslie Hedlund. Yeah, yeah, we all know about Leslie Hedlund, man. She was rocking with Harvey Weinstein, you know, leaving everybody, all right, just rocking them up to Big Bad Horror's desk, you know? Just walking them up there. Yeah, that's who's making this show. <laughs> Arthur John Douglas. <laughs> Shout out, John. This thing had me rolling when I saw this, bro. It, it, this is the weirdest tampon ad I've ever seen. Yeah, 1,000%, man. I said, wait a minute. Is, is, am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? <laughs> you know, uh, Mr. H said, this is going to be so funny. The trailer leaked last year, and my God, it was bad. I don't know if this is going to be the same trailer, though. I'm hoping that they give us some new footage or whatever, because I saw that at a uh, Star Wars celebration. Um, and yeah, the trailer's just like, whatever, man. You know, there's, there's nothing to write home about you know but i hope they give us some more details or whatever so we can you know at least chew into this a little bit tomorrow uh that star wars girl <laughs> look <laughs> everybody's on this thing man master of the tds yeah he say um i'm afraid my pronouns will be quite operational when your critics arrive yeah that's a good one too i should i should have liked that one that's funny um echo base of course sounds like 2012 look at george man Look at George. You know George is like, holy crap. Don't don't show this to George, okay? Don't ever show this thing to George. George will probably just throw a fit if he sees this. I hope nobody, I hope they're keeping all of this Disney Star Wars shit away from George Lucas's eyes, all right? Let this man just ride out the rest of his life in utter peace. Don't send him this thing by any stretch, okay? Get Just keep it away from him. Because, man, I know this dude is like, I can't believe what have I done. Like this thing says, what have I done? I sold my company to these idiots putting this this trash together. Golly. Yeah, shout out to John F. Trent. Can't wait to chronicle this show's demise. Yep, absolutely. Tebow. It looks like period blood. Very fitting. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. That that was done on purpose. That had to be done on purpose. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Holy shit, this is terrible, man. What a what a stupid company, man. Just what an utterly dumb company. And they're just taking one of the great franchises. And this is what they're doing with Star Wars, man. Sheesh, this is exactly what they're doing with Star Wars, man. We need... Ha ah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know where to go with this thing anymore, man. It's just going to be hilarious when it... I can't wait for this thing to drop, man. I'm telling you, June? Holy smokes, I can't wait till June comes. When June comes and the folks, me and Echo Base, we're covering this thing, man. This is going to be amazing. Now, of course, some people are happy. I cannot wait for this. Ah! You know, like there are going to be some people that are going to be happy about this. OK, but look, I expect this thing to do absolutely zero numbers. OK, I think this thing is going to get dog walked up and down the Internet. I think this is going to be a laughing stock. This is going to be a complete joke. Yeah, CJB forgotten one music for a flow of galactic proportions. Damn. <laughs> 
I tell you, man, the jokes write themselves when it comes to Disney Star Wars, man. You don't even have to try. The jokes just flow, okay? Like, it literally flow. It's too funny, man. Yeah, comicbookmovie.com is covering it. Uh, Star Wars The Acolyte gets a bloody first poster as Lucasfilm reveals premiere date and trailer debut. Uh, says the trailer, the first trailer for The Acolyte arrives tomorrow. And in the meantime, we have a bloody first poster along with a long way premiere date for the next Star Wars TV series. Um, so, yeah, we already knew that was dropping in June, June 4. Basically, we already got that news. Uh, the one sheet shows a lightsaber that in place of an ignited blade leaves us with the sort of bloody imagery. <laughs> It's so stupid, man. This company is just utter garbage, man. These people are trash, uh, which is far from typical for the Star Wars franchise. Uh, the question is, whose blood is that? Uh, a brief new synopsis for the series may shed some light on the matter. Yeah, I thought this was interesting because we've been kind of looking for additional details as to what the show is going to be about. Uh, in the Acolyte, an investigation into a shocking crime spree pits a respected Jedi master, uh, Ling Jung Jay, that's the guy from uh, uh, Squid Game, against a dangerous warrior from his past. Amanda Stenberg. It reads as more clues emerge, they travel down a dark path where sinister forces reveal all is not what it seems. Uh, nothing we've heard about this series suggests it is a typical Star Wars story, and that's far from a bad thing. Uh, by taking us to the High Republic era, the series has a chance to shed new light on the franchise's past and perhaps even lay the groundwork for what we saw in George Lucas's Star Wars prequel. See, this is what I've been telling you guys. This is the entire reason that they're doing this show at this particular time period. They want it to, you know, kind of set the stage, as it says here, set the stage or lay the groundwork for the prequels. All right. So now what you are going to have to do as a Star Wars aficionado, OK, you are going to have to recontextualize everything that you've seen in the prequels. And then, of course, in the original trilogy and so on, you're going to have to recontextualize everything through the High Republic era's eyes. You know, they're setting this ahead of the existing canon because they say, OK, now we want you to view the canon in light of what we're making. You know, it's not like you could just ignore this. That's what they're trying to do. They don't want you to ignore this particular period. So they're saying, oh, yeah, 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 we're going to use this to lay the groundwork for what we saw in the prequels. You know, and it's just utter garbage. You know, why would you, you know, try to step over what George Lucas has already established? According to Leslie Headland herself, OK, she's just going to be covering some of the same ground that George Lucas covered when it came to the Jedi Sith relationships. She's going to say, oh, the Jedi were wrong. In her head, she thinks the Jedi were wrong, not just, you know, clouded by the dark side of the force and Palpatine and all of that. No, no, no. They were just wrong. You know, their philosophy and their ideology was wrong. OK, so she's going to destroy the Jedi. She's going to shit all over the Jedi because she doesn't understand. Star Wars. She doesn't understand what she's doing here. All right. And then she's going to try to highlight uh, this um, this chick, Amanda Stenberg. OK, this is her hero. You know, she wants to tell a story about the villains. She's going to try to paint the Sith in a positive light. I'm pretty sure, you know, or paint evil in a positive light, you know, because that's who she is. OK, you know, it's projection. She wants to show evil in a positive light because that's who she is. All right. And again, Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant would probably want to make evil look, oh, and, and evil's not so bad, okay? That's what she's trying to do. So, yeah, uh, getting, again, some information around this. Look, this guy right here, this guy ain't the hero, okay? He's not going to be the, the star of the show. It's going to be her, all right? It's her story, and instead of the Sith being, you know, dastardly villains that you can't wait to see defeated, nope, she's going to be misunderstood or some bullshit like that. Like, that's where this whole show is going, you know, so, yeah, it's going to be fun poking a whole lot of fun and destroying this thing. Trust me. Will this be the Sith origin story many fans are expecting? Uh, that remains to be seen. It better not. <laughs> All right. Look, look, the Sith existed well before this period of time. It better not be. Uh, that remains to be seen, though speculation continues to run rampant that we might meet Palpatine's master of uh, the mysterious Darth Plagueis. Yeah, best believe they're going to throw some names out there. Oh, look, guys, Darth Plagueis. Aren't you ready for Darth Plagueis? His first appearance. Oh, you got to come and check out the Acolyte. You know, they'll throw Darth Plagueis in or they might even throw Palpatine in there, you know, and Yoda's still floating around. So you might see a commercial with Yoda in there. He'll probably be in the trailer. Something's going to be in this trailer that's trying to entice you to come and watch this trash. Best believe that. All right. Best believe that because they know Star Wars is on the outs right now. People ain't checking for Star Wars like they used to. So guarantee they're going to have some fan service. They're going to have some member berries. They're going to throw in some hot names. OK, for you guys to jump out. Oh, wow. Darth Plagueis. All right. Now nah, I got to check this thing out. That's what they're going to do. Best believe this is going to be nothing but hot, hot garbage. Yeah, back to this. Perry Chan said, this poster will forever be known as the bloody tampon poster. Well done, Disney and Lucasfilm. Yeah, absolutely. 
This is or a sex toy accident. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. This is going to be a shit show. It sure is. Uh, what's with all the blue check users on this thread discomforted by a sight of a blood smear? <laughs> it don't belong in Star Wars. That's what it is. Uh, this guy posts an age of falling lightsabers. A darkness rises to light days. <laughs> no, darn it. Now nah, I can't unsee it. You can't, you know, you can't unsee it. Once you've seen it, it's like, there it is. All right. There it is. That's just hilarious. Oh, man. Yeah, this one right here, man. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Man, but yeah, that's it, man. We're going to get this this retarded, dumb, idiotic uh, show. And we're going to get a trailer tomorrow. What do you guys expect to see from the trailer? Again, I expect there to be some little nugget, some sort of wrinkle, something like a, a character pops up, you know, probably Yoda. That's, oh my God, Yoda, yay! And everybody will clap and cheer and go nuts for it. And it's like, yeah, okay, this is exactly what Star Wars does, okay? The jangling keys will be in full effect, okay, tomorrow morning. You best believe that. Anyway, guys, you let me know what you think about this situation. This is going to be hot garbage. You already know it, all right? This poster just proves it, all right? In an age of light and darkness. <laughs> oh, my God, man. I, I, I'm still just stunned that this is the poster that they chose to go through. Or maybe I shouldn't be stunned, all right? Nothing should ever surprise me about disney star wars ever again all right this is peak disney star wars that we're looking at utter garbage anyway you guys let me know what you think about this jump down in the comments give me your thoughts and opinions on that and thanks for watching see you next time